Welcome to this software engineering open house video. I'm Jop Schmidt. I'm the teacher for the software engineering course. My email address is there on the screen. Uh, feel free to email me at any time uh, with any questions, comments, concerns that you may have. When we are meeting in person, uh, the software engineering class is held in my classroom, room 121. Uh, if you're interested in all of the nitty gritty details, uh, my detailed course syllabus is at the link on the screen. Um, it's also accessible from the student's Canvas page as well. A little bit about me to get us started. I earned my Bachelor and Master's of Science in Computer Engineering from Case Western Reserve University, and then worked as a software engineer for 11 years. At that point, I decided to change careers uh, and I went back to school uh, to become a teacher and earned my Master of Arts in Teaching from National Lewis University. Um, it surprises me to say, but I am now entering my 14th full year as a teacher at NNHS. Uh, and this is my ninth year teaching computer science related courses. Before that, I taught only physics courses. Software engineering is a somewhat unique two semester college level software engineering course. Uh, for those students who have already successfully completed AP Computer Science A. It is really designed for those students who may be interested in exploring software-related majors and careers. We are very fortunate in this district to have a robust computer science pathway, as well as a robust IT pathway. The software engineering course is the capstone course of our computer science pathway. We also have a couple of electives, the web design course and the game design course. The information technology pathway um, is a newly revised pathway in our district. It starts with IT systems one and two, each one semester courses. Uh, and it's followed by, and those are recommended, not necessarily required um, courses, and are followed by the cybersecurity capstone class for the information technology pathway. The scope of this class is in some ways similar to AP Computer Science, in other ways very different. Um, AP Computer Science is a very individual focused class by the nature of the College Board curriculum. This class is much more team focused. Um, this is much more of an engineering class focused on how can we apply different technologies and tools to make a product that is useful to a person. Um, so it doesn't focus as much on the foundational computer science topics and, and algorithms. Um, as a result, in this class, students will explore and survey a variety of technologies and tools that are very common in software engineering. Um, we will continue to use Java in some units, but we'll use other language um, as appropriate and as the projects dictate. Probably on everyone's mind is the technology and how are we gonna make this work um, during e-learning. Uh, the good news is during e-learning, students will be able to complete all the activities on the provided technology. Um, by now, all students have received their Raspberry Pi kits. Those are purchased with the course fee um, and are certainly required for some activities and are, are really an entire computer that students can use throughout the course. Um, I also will be walking students through the process of how they can install and use VS Code on their Chromebook. So that's another option for them. Of course, if students have their own computer, they're welcome to use that for class. They will still need their Chromebook for Zoom um, and some other activities, but they're certainly a welcome. During stages three and four, when we are back in the classroom, we'll be able to use, use the classroom desktops for some projects as well. During the first semester, um, students complete a variety of learning activities. Um, and this is when they are exploring, they're discovering, they're taking risks, they're making mistakes, they're asking questions, they're helping each other, they're practicing, they're receiving feedback, they're self-assessing. Um, they do this through the homework reading, questions and problems. They do this with occasional lectures and demonstrations. Primarily, they do this through class-wide pair and solo programming activities. Um, and we do have some quizzes as well. These learning activities, just like in AP Computer Science, are not scored. They don't show up in Infinite Campus. We focus solely on learning. After completing the learning activities, when students are ready, then we focus on the summative assessments in which they demonstrate their mastery of those learning objectives. Um, in the first semester that we do panel discussions, we do presentations, we do programming labs, we do exams. In software engineering, 
unlike AP Computer Science, each unit's really kind of different and has different types of summative assessments. That said, summative assessments are still scored on the one to five scale with which you're familiar, um, and those scored assessments can be tracked in Infinite Canvas. Um, the final exam for the first semester is kind of unique. Um, it's not weighted very much at all, and it's really the team preparing for the spring semester. Before we get to the spring semester, in this first semester, in the fall semester, these are the four main standards we're focused on. Um, we do focus on students developing and understanding and exploring agile software development methodologies, um, specifically Scrum. Most of the semester is spent focused on creating, analyzing, and applying different data structures uh, to solve computational problems. Uh, we do take some time throughout that data structure unit to pause and analyze and evaluate and debate issues at the intersection of technology, society, and ethics. Uh, students will be receiving a book for, for this particular area. Um, those will be distributed um, at a later time. Um, at the end of the semester, students have the opportunity to express some preferences and then explore, practice, and apply some very specific talk software technologies that may be useful in their spring semester projects. Here are some of those specific software technologies, just to give you an idea. Um, some students focus on multi-threading, others networking, some on developing web apps with Flask, others on mobile apps with Flutter, perhaps it's databases or Internet of Things devices with Amazon Web Services, or maybe data science. All of fall semester is designed to build up to and get us ready for the second semester. The second semester is, in my opinion, the most exciting part of the software engineering course, because this is where students in small teams collaborate with stakeholders to develop a software product in every phase of that product. <coughs> Excuse me, from the proposal uh, to the definition, design, implementation, testing, and uh, hopefully eventually delivery of that product. Um, the students are not driving the requirements for these projects. Uh, it's, it's an authentic experience in which external stakeholder holders, the product owner, um, are defining those requirements. Um, potential partners we've had in the past are nonprofits, government um, agencies. Um, other individuals. If you have potential leads on what might be a neat project and um, a product owner with whom we could partner, please do let me know. I'm always looking for new great projects for this class. Um, we'll worry about this when we get to the spring semester, but at times it's advantageous for some teams to be able to meet with their product owner off campus. So the spring semester of this class is labeled a blended class. Um, and that designation is honestly strictly to um, allow students to leave campus as part of that blended designation. And we'll talk more about that um, when the time is right. To give you an idea of what these software products might look like, these are the ones that were developed by students in last year's class. Um, one class period, five different teams actually did something unique last year and all built different technologies that connected together for one specific product owner. Um, and that was for Registart. Registart is a nonprofit focused on getting high school seniors to register to vote. And these students developed algorithms, a web app, a mobile app. They did data analytics and visualizations, built out a database um, to help Registart grow their program throughout the country. Um, in my other class period, they did five totally different projects. Um, and that's really more typical. Um, one team did a remote environment monitoring system for our greenhouse here at school. Um, another team uh, developed a web application so that teachers could order uh, coffee and tea from the half-calf that we have in our learning commons. Um, another group worked with a, uh, an old friend of mine who is a physics and math teacher on the East Coast and helped add additional features to his physics coaching web app. Um, we often have one team that partners with the business incubator class in one of those teams. Um, last year, the Fitverse Business Incubator team um, partnered with our class and we developed a mobile app um, for their pitch. Finally, one team partnered with RuneStone um, Interactive, which provides um, free online computer science textbooks. In fact, we use these as a supplemental resource in Computer Programming 1 and 2, as well as AP Computer Science. And so that team added features uh, to, that, to that platform.
So some really impressive software products last year. Second semester summative assessments look completely different because they're really working on this project the entire semester. So they demonstrate their mastery of the learning objectives through individual facilitation um, and then capturing of the outcomes of the various scrum activities. Um, and these occur throughout the entire semester. Um, they also do a lot of personal retrospectives. That's a reflection piece. Um, and the final exam is comprised of the team doing their software demonstration and presenting that, um, as well as a final retrospective. And you all will certainly be invited to our software demo event um, in the spring semester. Students can expect support from me um, in a couple of different ways. Each week I'll post my office hours on Canvas. During e-learning, they'll be via Zoom. Um, and when we're back in person, they'll be uh, before school. Um, they're also welcome to email me. Uh, we use Slack. That's one of the technologies that um, is a de facto industry standard. So they can ask questions there of each other um, and me, and we can all chime in with, with answers. Um, there's also many resources on, on Canvas. As always, students need support from you as well. So I encourage you to emphasize your students' understanding rather than their grade. Um, please encourage your student to communicate with me. Fortunately, I already have a relationship with almost all the students in this class, um, so they shouldn't find me scary. Um, they should be more than willing to communicate in real time or via email. Um, please encourage them to complete assignments on time. This is important because if they get behind, sometimes it's hard to catch up. It's especially important in the spring semester because their team members are really depending upon the information that they'll be turning in. Um, as always, please share with me anything that is important for me to know about your student. Uh, if you have told the school, that's great. Uh, just don't assume that they've necessarily told me. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, please don't hesitate to reach out um, and send me an email if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Um, thanks again.